Rinsend. And I also got a mint mongoose in the mail today, so I did go ahead. I'm going to upload that video of my second box of, box of mint mongoose. So um, it's a little bit dreary and rainy where I am today, so I'm the lighting's not going to be the greatest because I do use natural lighting. So we'll see how it goes, and hopefully we can see, or you guys can see good what I ended up getting in this box. It's taped up very well this time. Transcend, you go ahead, you go online, you give them your style profile, they charge your card $1 to make sure that I guess it's a viable card, and then they'll send you out a box. You keep what you want, send back what you don't, and that's the gist of it. So, here we go. To get my packing mail, packing mailer, and I did get a note this time, which my last Transcend, I did not, so that's exciting. So I like to hear in the little note, they kind of give you an idea of how to use the outfits they send you. So I'm liking all those. The first outfit. Here is the second bundle. Some pants. It looks like maybe a shirt. And the third bundle. A tiny little one. I can't even show you what's in there, barely. Pop it open like that. I'm loving the red. So we'll get to... um trying this stuff on. I always think something's going to fall out on me when I do this because they have to send jewelry and I'm always afraid when I pull it out it's going to go around on my floor. But it looks like they did it this time. So we'll get to trying this stuff on and see what we think Here's about it. I'll be right back. That red I was liking. It's just a sleeveless little pullover. I'm loving the colors. The neck is kind of like this uh, stretchy, elastic-y, cute, how to make it look like a ruffle detail. And then a deep V. Nice Nice bold shirt, but still having that black detailing in it. So this could be a possibility. And I'll move on to the next shirt that came in this day. Here's the second again. shirt that came with the red and black one. It's just a buttoned up collared shirt. Has a little bit of a cute little tie around the bottom here. Cuffed, well fake cuff sleeves. I like it, but it's too tight around my waist area. So for me, it wouldn't be a keeper. But it's an adorable little just black kind of throw on and go casual t-shirt with a little bit of uh, trend to it. So I do like it. It's just not fitting me correctly in my waist. Other than that, very cute. Okay guys, so back on to the next bundle. Outfit. It is a little motorcycle jacket. It's kind of a JD green color. Very cute. I like it. It fits good. I like how it has the double buttons here. You can do the zip. So I do like that. I kept the same black shirt on to go with these pants. They didn't send any pants and I'm assuming took these. And I know the lighting's really bad in here, so I'm not sure you're going to be able to see these very well, but they're just kind of like a little gaucho culotte pants with a little cute detail on them. I do like them, but I wasn't able to zip them up all on the sides, so those won't be a keep for me either. But I am enjoying this jacket. It has a great amount of stretch in it, if you can see that. So I like that. Depending on the price, you never know what trends on this jacket could be almost $200. No joke. <laughs> So I like that. We'll go on to the next bundle and see what we got in that one. Outfit. She sent me a white tank. It's a little tank top with a knotted bottom and some white jeans with a little bit of distressing. Jeans are more of a cropped. I don't even know if you guys can see that. I apologize for the lighting. And then I know I've seen this a few times. It's just a nice lined little jacket. No button or anything, so it just kind of hangs on you. I do like the jacket and I've liked it many times that I've seen other people trying their boxes on. The pants are a little bit see-through, they're Articles of Society and so is the tank. You can see kind of like straight through it. I have a tank on underneath it. But I do love the little knot detail. And then she also sent with this basic white underlay, the white tank with the white pants, a little throw over, kind of poncho-y short sleeve thing which I thought it was a scarf at first, and I was like, heck no, I don't want a scarf. And so she sent along this, I guess, to go over the same white basic outfit. I do like this, I think it's cute. It's, when you think of a scarf kind of a material, it's exactly what it reminds me of. I do like that for kind of the kimono effect without the real wide arms, but it really is just kind of like a scarf. But I do like that, and I love the pop of white underneath it. I think that was a great idea that she had said. So that is everything in my box for this Transcend. I'll come back with some prices and some final thoughts for you guys. 
Hey guys, I'm back with a try on and I really enjoyed this box. And when I was reading through the stylish note really quick, I did notice she said she took inspiration from my Pinterest board to try and make this box something that I really would enjoy. And I really did love this box. I, I see that she went to my Pinterest board because I think that this really does um, vibe with my Pinterest board style. So I appreciate that and I had forgot that uh, Trendsend does look at your Pinterest board. So that's great for a reminder for me to keep that thing up to date. I liked a lot of things in this box. I'm not sure what I'm going to be keeping, but as I was looking through the pricing, I noticed that somebody signed up with my referral link, which gave me 20% off anything I decide to keep in this box. So thank you very much. It doesn't give me a name, so I'm not sure who it was, but I appreciate that because it allows me to keep giving you guys these videos. Um, Princeton kind of has some pricey items. Like, for example, those black and white striped pants. Those were $84, and that's with that 20% discount. And I don't think that those pants are worth $84. They were very thin. I don't think the greatest made. They weren't horrible. I just think that some of their items can get a little pricey. The moto jacket with the 20% off is $118.40, and I loved that jacket. I just can't see purchasing that, especially now in the beginning of May. So... I did enjoy that they seemed to send a little bit of items I could wear going into the summer because I feel like they do have a little bit more of still their winter fall clothes going on. But, you know, it is what it is. And you, anybody can go to their website, everyve.com, and purchase anything you saw me try on or anybody else try on for that matter or just look through the website. You do not have to be a subscriber to Trendsend to do that. So that's always a good thing to know. And their items do go on sale a lot. So if you kind of see something you like, keep checking back. You kind of have to do it often because things can go really quickly once they go on sale. But it is an option if there's something you love. It's an option. So I think that's it. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to keep. I'm thinking for sure I'll probably keep that little kimono. Because I really did like that, and I think it can still kind of be worn going into the fall a little bit with the colors. So that's probably going to be a possibility, or that probably will be in my closet. We'll see how that goes. But I will let you guys know what I keep in the description box. And also, as always, in the description box, I will write the brand name, the style name, and the price in case you guys would like to request it from your stylist or you want to purchase it from everyve.com. And so I think that's it for today. Like I said, I love this box. I do like Trendsend. I think it's great. You getting a box sent for a dollar just to make sure your card is active and you get to try all this stuff on at home and you just can send back whatever you don't like. So I do love that about Trendsend. I, they do have trendier items, hence Trendsend. So it's not going to get you a lot of basic stuff. They do have some basic stuff like you could see with the white tank, but Anyway, I'll stop rambling on. I'll let you guys go. Have a great day. Please like and please subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.